Good morning. Sorry if I'm kind of a zombie today. I got up really early to do my uh, thyroid blood tests and I'm still not awake yet, but we have an exciting day today because Ushka and I found a house on the market that looks like it might be a possible Neko Neko Inn 2. Thanks to you guys, Neko Neko Inn has been fully booked since we opened it and for the foreseeable future. So thank you so much. So glad you guys are enjoying staying there. It's been so fun for us to put it together and see you guys using the gacha and enjoying all the little cat things in the house. So it's just been such a great project that we've kind of been on the lookout for another house in Tokyo that we can make a second Neko Neko in at. So maybe today maybe. will be the Fingers one. Crossed. Honestly, we're not really gonna know until we see it. The house that we're going to look at is actually quite interesting. It's kind of a duplex, I guess you would call it. It's two separate houses that are stuck together. And on one side, there's a tenant living there full time. So we would rent out the other half as a Neko Neko Inn and there would be somebody living on the other half. But because of that, it's kind of like a lot of things to consider. We need to see if they're okay with us renting out the other half as an Airbnb style place but we're gonna head there today check out the neighborhood check out the situation with the house like how, how much renovation it would need the original Neko Neko Inn needed a lot of work Every, everything <laughs> needed to be fixed and literally every surface <laughs> needed to be replaced and it did cost quite a bit of money so we're looking for a place that kind of we would like to put our own touches on it and yeah. do it up because that was fun we that had a lot amazing. of fun working together so something that doesn't need too much work but that definitely has room for us to you know customize it a little bit that's what we're hoping for but enough talking off to view the new house oh, no. see they don't smell oh. once they're dead right no i don't think so yeah, and they just smell, a little like, bit. smell like the ground no they just smell like the ground yeah <laughs> this is the best plant in the world and it only blooms for about two weeks every fall oh, so if spider. you're in japan during the fall season keep your eyes out and your nose out for the best smell ever if you're just walking down the street and you smell something really sweet it doesn't even smell natural it smells like a man-made scent kinmokse these flowers are just probably the best scent in the world it's kind of like honey slightly floral but not too much it's more like a fruity honey scent and so it looks like they're falling to the ground already really depressing it feels like they just bloomed <laughs> why are they gone already no anyway smelt it here's one that's still blooming it smells so good oh i wish you guys could smell this we've arrived in the neighborhood of the house and it's really nice it's a really pretty neighborhood we're up on a hill right now Got a really cool view of the town behind us. So far so good. Cozy vibes, really nice houses, nicely groomed gardens. Yeah, it looks a bit fancy. That's so cute. This is a sign. It's the right neighborhood. Same vibes as Neko Neko Inn. Yeah. It's so cute. Kinjo no Hondana, a neighborhood bookshelf. I love that so much. On a little birdhouse. A bird could live in there. Oh my god, how cool is that? Okay, yellow house on this side. Bright yellow lemon tree on this side. Oh, it is. It is Yuzu. I love this neighborhood. Look, there's a palm tree there. It's so cozy. I love all the random colorful houses. There's a blue one down there. Look at this massive persimmon tree. It's filled with persimmons. Oh, I want to pick one so bad. Uh, no. <laughs> Where's Loki and when we need him? <laughs> We're on a dirt road now. It's a really interesting path to get to the house from the station. I like it though. It's got good vibes so far. Persimmon tree. Saw lots of butterflies. Little library. So far so good. We have made it to the house. We're about to go inside and check it out for the first time. So far the outside definitely needs some repairs. It's got some damage to the ceiling to the roof there flapping in the wind up some more stairs more fruit trees lots of greenery that's nice there's two entrances this is the one where someone's living i'm assuming <laughs> and we will be viewing this side today <laughs> oh wow spacious ginkan before we take a peek inside the house, please let me introduce today's sponsor, Sakurako. So this is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box. If you sign up for Sakurako, every month you will get a gorgeous box delivered to your doorstep filled with 20 authentic, traditional, and artisan Japanese snacks 
and teas, and also a surprise tableware item every month. This month's box is in collaboration with Saitama. It's one of those places that I travel through very often for work, but I very rarely stop there and explore it, so I don't know much about Saitama. That's really cute. This looks awesome. So every month you will get a booklet inside your box that includes tons of Japanese cultural information, information about all the snacks in the box, including allergen info, which is really cool. There is so much stuff in here, but I'm gonna pretend it's fall and eat this sweet potato pie. This looks and smells very nice. Mmm, it's kind of got hints of like pumpkin. Anything that's slightly similar to a pumpkin pie, I'm all for it. <laughs> Maro's watching me. You can smell it. Maro loves sweets, I don't know why. I always have fun picking out a snack that will pair with the monthly tea. Today we have a green tea from Saitama. I love these so much, I just cannot explain my love for kanji dough. They're basically just like a deep fried donut. It's not bitter at all. I think that's the reason a lot of people don't like green tea. If you get one from like Tetley, the green tea they make is always really bitter and it actually, a real Japanese green tea tastes nothing like those. If you would like to get your hands on your own Sakura Co subscription box, you can sign up using my code for $5 off your first order. Now back to the house tour. This part's really, really scary, really soft. Yeah, that needs um, to go. That's really soft. soft. Yeah, it's just a slice, slice of wood. Oh my god. Here's the bathroom. Wow, the colors. I kind of love this. It's ugly, but also really cool. It's got one of those really deep baths. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's quite deep. Like, if I sit down, <laughs> it goes like up to eye height. <laughs> It's awesome. I really like these style of baths. My first homestay had one. I like how it's stainless. It feels like you can clean it really easily. The stairs look nice. The stairs are in good condition. Oh, this is such an interesting layout. I like it though. It's cozy. I kind of like how it's all separate. I love this when they sleep. I really like it. This is cool. Yeah. Cats would love this. Bigger body to be higher. <laughs> he couldn't he lead on it, it's like... <laughs> now that's very typical in Japan, the countertops and stuff are always super low. That's an easy fix though, we could just put something on top. I like it. It needs lots of work. A lot of work. But it would be a good project house if we weren't expecting to have it open anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is so cozy though. Like this would be the sitting room and I guess you could have a sofa bed here. So this could be one bedroom. If you want to put a sofa bed. Oh, there's more bedrooms to come. Oh, okay. So this could just be the sitting room with a sofa bed if needed. Yeah. Could have a little dining table here. Oh, we could have a bar, bar seats. Yeah, that would be cute. Here <gasps> Did it scratch? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign. That was definitely a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fridge here. This all has to go. I know you guys loved the retro kitchen in Neko Neko, but like, it's just so old and you know crusty. <laughs> it's it's not one of those things that you just want to keep. I think we'll definitely refresh. I really like the high The kitchen. Series. I wonder if you could take this out. Oh, there's a mom, momoji? Momiji? Momiji. Oh, pretty. Japanese maple. Looks nice. Oh, there's, so there's a door here, an unnecessary door here. It just goes here. Why is this here? You want to go first? Sure. <laughs> oh, cool. So here's one of the bedrooms. Such a neat view. I love how high up we are. What? Gotta make friends with that neighbor. Creepy grudge closet. What's going on with the ceiling? I don't know. <laughs> An interesting design choice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's a bedroom on this floor. And then. I don't know, why are there so many floors? Oh, what's over here? Oh, the toilet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all right. We'll probably replace everything. Mm 
The staircases are in good condition. Those wouldn't need to be rebuilt as far as I can tell. Oh, it smells like tatami. Yes, it's a tatami room. Oh, cool. Some more cat artwork Is it? on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a cat. I love this. This is cute. Is it really okay to go with shoes? Oh, it smells so good. I love it. Yeah, so everything would have to be redone except for the walls. These walls are in really good condition. So this is okay, I think. So those textured traditional walls, yeah. We would need to change the doors. <laughs> what does it say on there? It's a message. What's your message? Curse. Oh, no, it's just the phone number or something. <laughs> the ceiling is okay, but it looks like there was water damage there, which is scary. That's worrying. Why is there water damage? Cool. Yeah, I really like these rooms. These are cool. We would definitely keep the washitsu. So there's two Japanese style rooms here. This one's a bit darker, not as much light comes into this one. But I think the storm shutter is closed at the moment. So if we opened up the storm shutter, that would bring a lot more light in. It smells so good. Even though the tatami's old, it has that nice fresh tatami smell. Aren't we on like the fourth floor? Where does that go? Oh, oh. it's a balcony. It's like a jungle out here. <laughs> Sweet, what is that? I don't know. Is it grapefruit? Some kind of like, yeah, what the hell? It looks like grapefruits. That's amazing. This is nice. This could be cute if we redid it. A little cozy balcony. Something happened when they were painting the roof. <laughs> Dropped a can of paint. <laughs> I wish I could have found a crack. It's a clean line all the way up through all the floors. It continues on on the above floor. What could that be? Not a good thing though. <laughs> Much to discuss. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> As you fall through the floor. The condition is definitely worse than I was hoping because we're gonna need a lot of money if we wanna renovate that into a nice place to stay. Anyways, lots to discuss. Um, definitely need to crunch some numbers and see if it's even possible for us to <laughs> afford to renovate a place like this. But um, there is another house for sale in the neighborhood. Look at this. We're on the hunt for the next house at the moment and we cannot find it. It's a maze, which is not a good thing. We don't want the people staying there <laughs> to be really confused trying to find it. So I don't know. I'm kind of like eh about this one, yeah. but we're going to see it anyways, just to get an idea of the prices that things are going for in this area. This one is a bit out of our budget, but worth a peek. Really cool view. I can imagine the sunsets here are so cool. A smaller Gancon, but nice. So there's no electricity, so I can't turn on the lights. There's one toilet. Here, the bathroom. It's relatively new, I think. Definitely redo all of that, all the bathroom. So we're in the middle floor. There's downstairs and there's upstairs. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, why not? Oh, cool. There's a little patio out there. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Oh my God. Is that a cocky tree? Hell yes. Our own khaki tree. This is so cute. Wow, look at this. And I love the tiling. Wouldn't need to change that. Oh, it's a dragon This is all perfect. Those are Mekong. What? They're Mekong. This is so cute. I don't know. It's really cr Oh, it's clowns. What the hell? That would need to go. That would need to be replaced with a case. Yeah, I don't like that. Love this. Wow, I can't get over the Mekon tree. Look at it, it's a massive Mekon tree. It's awesome. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've never had like a homegrown Mekong before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. All right, we're back inside. So there are so many bedrooms. So here's the second bedroom we're looking at now. Small, but it's got a nice view of the garden, which is cool. Nice floors, floors don't need to be replaced. This room looks okay. Nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah no renos needed there. Just new wallpaper for this room. Yes, yeah, definitely. And over here is the third bedroom. Oh, it's a big one. This one's massive. Yeah, this is really big. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? There's like another room in there. That's, That's crazy. Like you could make that into like a reading nook. That would be fun. Cushions and Hell yeah. We definitely do that. Does it open here it's too? Same thing. Oh, cool. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. You could just take those doors off. Yeah. Put, like, put a little ladder. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that'd be that could be a bed. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. If it's weight bearing, that could be a bed. That'd be fun to have a little bed yeah. up there. So that could be the storage. Yeah, and then yeah. that's definitely a bed. That's so cool. I oh, know. Okay, so that's, we've seen one, two, three bedrooms down here. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. It's so weird to come in the middle. I know, and then go down. And then in here, I guess this was the kitchen dining. Or would they consider that a bedroom? I don't know. Yeah, there's more. What's it like up here? Ooh, lots of light. The sunsets are, oh my God, there's a huge patio. Oh, there's two more rooms up here. My God, it's huge. Okay, so, wow. High ceilings, smaller bedroom, but not too small. It's all right, really. The high ceiling makes it feel quite spacious, even though it's not too much floor space. Another little patio with amazing views. Cool. So much storage. It's a tiny one. You have to go out the window. It's like a ninja. Why do you have to duck? Wow. Amazing. So cool. Oh, it's a cool um, tile roof. Always wanted one of those. <laughs> this is nice. I want to live here. <laughs> I don't want to rent it out. Let's just buy it and live here. It's awesome. And then there is one more room, this one here. So three bedrooms downstairs, two bedrooms upstairs living room, kitchen, and garden on the middle. It's huge. <laughs> this is way bigger than we ever planned to get. And it's way above our budget, but it's so cool. What a view. And it's in nice condition. This is the amount of renovations we were kind of hoping for. Yeah. Like, it's not perfect. There's some things we want to change, but it wouldn't cost us $100,000 <laughs> to fix it up. So this would be a fun project house now to make lots more money so we can afford it. <laughs> the real estate agent thinks she might be able to knock off a decent chunk of the price of the place because she knows the, it's owned by a bank at the moment. She knows the bank that owns it. If we can get a massive deal on it, we might consider it. It's really nice. <laughs> As Ishka's peeling back the moldy wallpaper. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Yeah, That's gross. It's had something, it's had something silly. Yeah, and it got moldy. I don't understand. What kind of fridges do people own? I don't know. The tiniest little fridge. I know. It's so dangerous to have a fridge. Yeah. I love it. It would be so fun to do up all the balconies. Yeah. Neighbors look cool. They've got nice gardens. Kiwi fruit. Oh hell yes! What the hell? That's rare. 
Well, that was fun. We have a lot to think about now. <laughs> this place is the dream. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It's so many bedrooms though, so how would that work? I guess it would have to be like large families or groups of friends that would rent it out because it doesn't really make sense for a couple unless you want a massive house. The garden is beautiful and just everything about it is really nice. Like I mentioned, it's a nice amount of renovations that are needed. It's not Manageable. scary. <laughs> Unlike the first house we saw today, that was a bit too much. I don't think I would want to purchase a place like that because yeah, it's just a bit too scary, the amount of money and work that needs to go into it before it's usable. I really like the vibes here, so even if we don't get any of these places, I think we'll keep looking in this neighborhood, because it was a lot of fun today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.